So we were wondering kind of if you could walk us through how all this came about and, and who made the first gesture here. Yeah, so back in 2019, I went over to Europe on an unrelated business trip. Um, 2019 was uh, given the opportunity to make an introduction to uh, the Ferrero team, not Giovanni at that point, but uh, to their, their team. Weren't really talking about any kind of, of business deal other than we really saw Ferrero's candy brands, especially they had recently you know, made the acquisition of the Nestle candy brands here in America. We just thought that was a natural extension in ice cream. Uh, we saw how other companies had done that and thought it'd be good to make the introduction. Um, that started a conversation uh, <clears throat> that uh, led us to a, a virtual uh, taste testing. We sent some products over to them early in 20. Um, they loved the way that we were able to interpret their brands in ice cream. Um, you've seen brands that have, you know, like a such and such ice cream with, you know, cookies in it or something. But in this case, we were able to really interpret what they do in confectionery candy and turn it into an ice cream form of their confectionery candy, and they were super impressed with that. And so, as such, um, we continued in dialogue. You know, the, the COVID thing kind of put things on hold for a bit. Um, I reconnected with Giovanni in uh, January of this year kind of asked him how his year went, talked a little bit about, you know, their, their intent because uh, they had said they wanted to expand into ice cream. And it, uh, it led to a conversation. I invited him to come to Lamar's in June, right ahead of ice cream days. He saw what we did, um, what a great community we had, what a great business we had, and asked me if we'd be interested in a transaction. You know, on the other side of that, I've spent the last two to three years really um, trying to find a solution for the business going forward. Um, what I told my folks today in our <clears throat> announcement meeting was that literally since our 100th anniversary in 2013, um, I've been thinking about what the next 100 years looks like and how, um, you know, how, what, how, how long the family's involvement could stay there and, uh, you know, what the solution would be for the next 100 years. And so um, that was really the, the crux of this transaction was to find a way to, you know, keep our people employed, um, support the community, and support the business and uh, and honor the family. That visit from that Giovanni, that was in June of this year? That's correct. He came, you know, ice cream days is always the second weekend of June. Shameless plug there. And uh, he came on the Wednesday of that uh, of the week of ice cream days. Were other members of the Wells family involved in the talks at all or was it mostly you? So I've been the only active family member since 2007. Um, so the family, uh, you know, looked to me to, to lead those conversations. Um, and so that was that was the involvement of the rest of the family. Okay. So you're staying on for a while as a, as an advisor, kind of. I, I am. So um, you know, part of this transaction is that Liam clean has been named as the new CEO. Um, I uh, I made Liam the president last year and actually um, transferred all of my direct reports to him. So essentially, he's been running the company for the last year. It's a natural um, succession plan that I've been working on. Um, at the same time, I realized that both Ferrero, who doesn't really have a lot of experience in ice cream, um, and the Wells management team, for which I've been a part of for so many years, um, is gonna have questions from time to time, gonna need some advice. Um, I tell people have asked me, you know, how long is that? And I said, well, the beauty is it's not a contract, it's a commitment. And so I can't imagine that 10 years from now, somebody's not gonna call me and say, what do we do here and when? and where do we leave that? Or <clears throat> so um, I don't. I don't see it as an assignment. I see it as a commitment, and uh, probably lasts as long as I live in the community. Quite honestly. So you'll be on at some level for the foreseeable future. I'll be on. Not an employee. So yeah. this is a. You know, this isn't a, a, a. Like I said, not a contract. Not yeah. an employee. But um, you know, fortunately, they think I have something to add, and and they want me to advise. Well, so the, the company will remain as it, 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 kind of, it will have some level of autonomy within Ferrero. They they when they purchase companies they leave them as independent business units. So it will have Wells on the outside of the building. They will utilize all the blue, all of the Wells brands. You know things like Blue Bunny, Halo Top, Bomb Pop, Blue Ribbon Classics. Uh, the management team will be will have the autonomy to run the business independently. Um, they will report up to an individual inside of Ferrero, but that's the majority of Ferrero's involvement. Um, they, you know, they will work together in a conjoint business plan as they look at what Ferrero wants to do in expanding its, 
you know, its awareness into ice cream uh, and work on those things in the future. So the, the Wells name will be retained? Absolutely. I, it's, it's the coolest part of the deal for me. It gets to honor my family's 109 years of, of ownership and heritage. Um, you know, it's a huge value here locally. I mean, people, you know, Wells is synonymous with Lamar's and synonymous with ice cream. Um, and they see the value in that and want to retain it. How, how did you feel, you know, selling this Century Plus um, business that has your I, first of all, I felt extremely honored. Uh, my family looked to me to go find the solution for the business and the family uh, and do it in a way that respected and honored our employees, our community, our family, and now the Ferrero family. And, and I couldn't be more honored and, and more happy for the outcome. Um, a little bit of a, you know, a bittersweet moment today to, to announce it and know that it's, you know, um, it's the end of this chapter for me and, and a new chapter for my wife and I as we commit 100% of our efforts to our community and community development and the things that we've enjoyed doing more on a part-time basis as I've had to represent for the family and the family business. Um, but, you know, the easy thing for me is to say, well, what would happen if I didn't take the care and the concern and the effort to find the right solution? You know, ultimately, um, you know, the decision may look a whole lot different than it did in having this opportunity. So you will be more focused on civic Involvement. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we've got deep roots. Uh, you know, my wife's coffee shop's across the street. Um, we own several buildings in town that we're refurbishing and, and committed, you know, to, to the ongoing, um, you know, economic development of our community. Um, I personally have been on the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm, I'm ironically about to step into the chair of the Chamber Board, uh, and I'll be able to, cons you know, spend more time and effort there. Um, and we're about to, 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 to kick off here locally a... Uh, uh, a survey around community development and a, and a planned community growth and, and active, you know, anxious to be part of that personally. So what's going to happen to Wells employees with blue collar and white collar? They all get to keep their jobs, they all get to keep their pay, their titles, and they all get to work really hard for a new owner um, and, and show them that they made the right choice in this acquisition. And that does include the white collar? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, no, this is, uh, I know there have been other issues in our community around the white collar jobs and this has no impact on the white collar jobs. Um, they, don't, they don't know ice cream. They don't do ice cream in North America. They need all of the people that are involved in, in, this, in, in this business to do what they do today to be successful in the future. When did the sale become effective? So um, the sale will close. So we've announced, uh, as you know, in all acquisitions like this, there is, uh, you know, HSR approval and, you know, other things that can take up to 45 days. It's anticipated that this transaction closes in mid to late January. Would there be any kind of um, difficulties at all with the SEC that you would see? Or? No, you know, it's the beauty because this isn't, this not, isn't. Not, not the SEC, but the, the trade. The FTC, trade. right. Yeah, the FTC. It, it, you know, uh, no complexity there, no, no challenges because this isn't an ice cream company buying an ice cream company. This is a candy company buying into a category they don't have presence in. So there is no concern around, you know, market saturation. Okay. So Ferrero has essentially no background in ice cream? They, they own a, a little ice cream company called ICFC in Spain um, that they've owned for two or three years and have had success in launching some of their own brands in that company. Um, so really kind of proved the thesis that I'd put out there to Giovanni a couple of years ago about how much, you know, um, opportunity there is in the ice cream category to introduce, you know, decadent um, confectionery brands. Um, but in North America, they have none. So their opportunity in purchasing wells to um, acquire 20% of the U.S. ice cream production capacity, um, the best ice cream assets and the largest ice cream plant in the world, and a, uh, you know, a great group of ice cream experts, um, you know, it, it's what led him to, to say, I want to do this deal. Okay. Will this mean anything for Lamar's? You know, obviously Lamar's has a big... Um Ice cream oriented heritage, ice cream days, the ice cream capital. Will it remain as such a very ice cream oriented? <clears throat> you know, based on their plans for continued growth and investment in this business, all's they, all's, all's Lamar's can look forward to is manufacturing more ice cream, having a greater reputation around being the ice cream capital, capital of the world, um, and being a great place to work, live, and play.